Hello everyone and welcome to the Tech Channel. This is another video sponsored by Digit Space. Today we have TTP 224 4 channel touch sensor module and it's absolutely easy to use. Here as you can see it has four capacitive touch buttons or switches and we're gonna interface it with our Arduino board. And as a small example I'm gonna use RGB LED and we're gonna control its colors using those buttons. So here's the module and as you can see it has six pins, four of them are for the buttons, they are digital outputs and then we have ground and VCC. It can be powered using 3.3 volt from the Arduino or 5 volt. I'm gonna use the 3.3 volt. So first we're gonna wire this module using these jump wires and we're gonna test it with a simple code using serial monitor. So the module is wired and powered. Uh, the breadboard is just to hold it in place. So here as you can see we have four LEDs and I'm gonna press one button or touch it. One, two, three, four. Here as you can see every button has its own LED. So this is the code I'm using. Here I declared four buttons from one to four. I'm using digital inputs for the Arduino from two to five. And here I store the button state of every single button and as you can see it's boolean so as i said the output is uh, digital and here i have one string data is just to show this data on the serial monitor so here i just declare the button as input so here to start our serial communication and then i declare the pin mode for the buttons and here i read the state of every button and i store it in that value then I display this data on the serial monitor and as you can see this data string contains all the states of these buttons and we're gonna now upload it to the Arduino now we're gonna open the serial monitor and as you can see we have four columns and they are the state of every single button now I'm gonna press 1 2 3 Three, four. It's very easy to use. You can press multiple at the same time. So now we're gonna add our RGB LED. It's a common cathode RGB. It will be wired with the ground. And then don't forget for the pins RGB, they should be wired only with PWM pins from the Arduino. So here I'm gonna use 9, 10 and 11. So the RGB LED is already wired and I turned down the light a little bit so we can see the RGB lights. Let's check the code first. So here as usual I declared my buttons and then I declared the pins of the RGB here 9, 10 and 11 and as I told you they should be PWM. Here we have the value that we're gonna affect to the every single one of them red or blue or green and as you know it goes from 0 to 255 here we read button states as usual this data i just forgot it here we won't use it so here we declare buttons as inputs and then the led pins as outputs here of course you can add this serial print if you want to show the value that you are affecting to your uh, RGB or not you can remove it. So every single button has a function for example the button 1 it controls the red it incremented by 20 and if this value reaches 256 it goes back to 0. We can test it And as you can see, you can change this increment. I use 20, you can use 50 or whatever value you want. And then I choose to bring it back to zero. Same thing for button two and button three. They control green and blue. And the button four resets every single value to zero. So let's test the code.
and of course if you keep pressing it will register as an input and of course you can mix the colors So that's it and of course this touch button can be used with anything you want. That's it for this project. Thank you for watching and see you next time.